What's going on good people of YouTube? It's me Chavez and in today's video we are switching things up a little bit. So I had a few questions on my channel uh, over the differences between certain mosaic parallels, especially the Genesis parallel. So I wanted to take a few minutes today and make a quick video, hopefully help you uh, when it comes to identifying what that Genesis looks like so you're able to sleeve it up, protect it. Um, and then what some of the other parallels look like between your reactives uh, and your camos and things like that. So if you can dig that, be sure to stick around, like, sub, click the notification icon because it all means a ton. And with that being said, let's have a little fun. What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for stopping by the channel and checking this video out. Uh, this video was inspired by a couple of my viewers uh, having a nice back and forth on, on my channel and the discussion was over Genesis parallels, really uh, what they look like, um, you know, for people who aren't really familiar with Mosaic product. How do you how do you know you pull the Genesis, you know, because it doesn't, doesn't say Genesis on the card anywhere. Uh, one of my viewers mentioned that he pulled the Genesis, didn't even know it. And um, I want to spend a few minutes today going over um, just what a Genesis looks like. So I have three Genesis cards right here in front of you, all different years. You got 21, uh, a 21, uh, so you got 21 uh, Mosaic Soccer, 21 Mosaic Football, and then 2020 uh, Mosaic Basketball with Tyus Jones. So I wanted to start with this Derek Carr Genesis that I got slabbed up through PSA. Now, right off the bat, it is a little bit easier to see it because it's in the case. You see that pattern forming at the bottom, kind of like by his legs. Then you have that pattern forming over here, over his shoulder. That smoky, circular pattern. That's a Genesis all the way. Uh, and that's really when I pulled this card, I knew exactly what it was right when I right when I revealed it. Uh, because you can see that pattern forming as you're you know, lifting that card off. You can see it forming, boom. I knew I had a Genesis, but um, on some of these cards, it's not very easy to, to see um, because, for instance, in this Mason mount, it kind of, this pattern just kind of blends in with the background. So it did take me, I mean, a few seconds to realize this was a Genesis. I kept asking myself, is this a Genesis? Did I just pull a Genesis? Um, that pattern is there at the bottom and it is there over his shoulder but it is just not as obvious to me as it was in that David Carr Genesis. And even when you look at this Tyus Jones Genesis, even in a penny sleeve and a semi ridge, you can see that pattern forming at the bottom. You see it forming at the top. So again, in some cards it is harder to see than in other cards. Um, but that smoky pattern, that hazy pattern forming, that's your Genesis right there. Uh, but again, unfortunately, nowhere on the card, front or back, does it say Genesis? Nothing. So getting familiar with these patterns will really, really serve you well. Even just Google Genesis or uh, search eBay for Genesis cards to see uh, that pattern in different players in different format or different sports get real familiar with that with that pattern so when you pull a genesis you can celebrate it and be happy um because they're fun as hell to pull <laughs> uh let's take a look at some of these other parallels that are in the retail um like a retail product because i want to show you uh maybe some cars that could be confused uh maybe with genesis like especially these reactive cars like these reactive blues now, the more product you pull, the more familiar you get um, with these patterns, but there's a very similar circular pattern going on around Taylor Trammell that there is going on around Tyus Jones. Um, but now that you see them side by side, it's very obvious that these are not the same car, these are not the same pattern. This is not a Genesis, this is a Genesis. Since Genesis tends, uh, these Genesis cars tend to have like a lot of blues and greens in them, uh, it kind of just, you know, eliminates these camo pinks or these reactive orange cards. Um, we're not going to mistake these for a Genesis, uh, much like this fluorescent orange or um, 
this green prism or this mosaic prism of Ryan Mount Castle. So um, holding them up next to a Genesis, you can see that there is no similarity outside the mosaic logo. So Genesis really stand out when you pull one, um, you will know it, you will see that pattern. Now in terms of what makes a Genesis a, a, a short print or a super short print, Genesis, I mean, to my understanding, these case hits are always gonna be considered short prints. There's just fewer of them going around being printed than there are of like your camo pinks or your veteran base cards. So they're already considered a short print. Uh, I'm not sure what would make a Genesis a super short print uh, outside of just the print run because again, there's no way to identify by just looking at the card that it's a super short print. So just know that your Genesis hits are short print. They're all short print. They're all uh, rarer, rarer, more rare <laughs> than the other parallels that you're going to see in that mosaic set. So there you have it. Spent a couple minutes going over some differences in these parallels and uh, hopefully hopefully you're able to see that pattern. Hopefully you're able to identify it and get familiar with what that Genesis looks like because when you pull one, it's fun. You need to celebrate it, sleeve it up, feel all the good things. So I hope this video helped you uh, in some way or fashion. If you haven't done so on your way out and if you're up to doing so, leave a like, sub, click that notification icon because it really does mean a ton. And uh, thank you once again for hanging out with me. Until my next video, Chavez is out.